Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. I am Cameron with Optic Edge. In today's tutorial, I will go over how to upload and manage slides, also known as content, to Viplex Express. I'll also show you how to create a solution. A solution is a collection of slides, uh, most similar to a PowerPoint presentation. And you can also change out different solutions based on your needs. I'll also show you how to schedule slides within a solution. I will also show you how to add slides to a solution. I'll also show you how to create slides within the Viplex Express editor. We also have a video uh, showing you how to create your own slides in other programs such as PowerPoint and Google Slides. So first you will want to open up Viplex Express. Uh, if you do not have this already installed, please watch our video on how to install it. Right here I have it on my desktop. We'll go ahead and double click it. Always going to hit yes. And give it a minute to open. All right, once it's open, you will see the list of your signs or sign if you only have one. Uh, we have multiple, so we have um, a bunch of them that are offline and one online. So I'll go over um, the indicators here. So along the top, we have your different indicators for your signs. Uh, this is just telling us how many signs I have in total on my um, program, how many are online, um, how many are not logged in, and uh, simply that means uh, it's it's online and it's connected to your network. It's just not logged in yet. We just have to put a password in. Uh, typically, you only have to do that for the first time. And then uh, how many of your signs are offline? And uh, the symbols here um, show up down here. So the one we're going to work with is our Optic Edge 8 mil, and it is online, so we're good to go. We're going to move over to our Solutions tab here. And in here, I've got a solution already, but we are going to teach you how to create a new one. And to create a new one, you just simply click on the New, and then choose the Regular Screen option. I'll give this a name. I'm just going to go over to... Um, And then we also want to make sure the resolution uh, is set for the particular sign that it's going to go on. And you do this by clicking on the specified terminal and choosing the sign in the list. It'll change your uh, resolution to uh, the resolution that's um, set for the sign. And uh, just click OK. And it's going to open up the editor. I'm going to full screen the editor. All right. And once in the editor here, start with a, a single blank slide. We're going to add some content to this slide. And we're going to do that by simply just clicking on the file button up here. And uh, the content I'm going to add is um, just some pictures and then I will add a video as well. But we're going to start with uh, pictures. And I'm going to go with this uh, mulch sale picture here. And uh, once you you notice, once um, the picture comes in to the slide, you get the green border around the picture. You can manually adjust it, or I simply just go ahead and do the fill, which is uh, this little square with the corners. Uh, click on that, and then it'll full screen that picture. Uh, onto the slide. And this slide is set uh, for the resolution of, of the sign. So what you see here will show up on the sign. Uh, the widget properties will show up. And this is where we can change the uh, playback duration of the slide. And this is uh, basically the timing for the slide on how long the slide will show up on your sign uh, before it switches over to the next slide. Uh, our recommendation is typically um, three to five seconds uh, unless your ordinance specifies a specific time and then follow your local ordinance at that point. But for this demonstration, we're going to do three seconds because there's not very much text on here. Eh, that can be read within the three second time. We do not recommend um, entrance effects 
as I just take away from the ad content that you're putting up there. Um, and then ultimately, less of your ads will show to a driver as they're passing by your sign. So I leave that as a none, but that is there for those that wish to use it. And if we'd like to uh, schedule this slide, we go back to page properties. We can actually um, set this slide to play a certain time or date. And you do that by simply uh, clicking on the validity range checkbox here. You can set your start date. Uh, I'm going to set it, just leave it as um, today. And then you can set your end date. I'll go for how about a little over a week, day over a week. So it'll end on the 14th. Um, you could set a uh, timing if you would like it to only play a certain time, like maybe when you're open. You only want that to play, and then you can set uh, different days of the week if you only want to play Monday through Friday all day long. You could do that, or you can change the timing, um, which is in military time, to whatever time you would like it to stop playing, and then it'll resume the next day. And then you can also add uh, multiple, so you can get creative with the schedule if you wish. But for this demonstration, we're just going to leave defaults. All right, and uh, once you're happy with this one slide, you can add um, another slide, clicking this little uh, plus button up here at the top. And I'll add another blank slide to your solution for you. And uh, we'll go back into file here. And I'm just going to keep adding some different pictures here. And full screen it. Another file. Full screen. Add another file. Full screen. Okay. So you'll also notice as we got different ones. Um, in order for a widget property to show up a um, the picture or widget it has to be selected. Um, so once that's selected, and you'll know it's selected when you get the green border around it. You'll notice uh, when I was adding new ones, the uh, playback duration uh, replicated from the first one. Uh, and that, that does that. It'll remember what you set last. So if um, you change the last one to five seconds, add another one, and add a picture, it, it'll do five seconds before. So now that this is, uh, we got some pictures on here, I'm going to go to this last one and I'm going to add another slide. I'm actually going to add this video and show you what a uh, difference with the video does. And we'll full screen. So you'll notice with the video, it's selected and I got wi the widgets property tab opened here. It, you cannot change the playback duration and uh, the reason for that is uh, it it's goes off of how long your video is set for particularly this video is set for six seconds so it locks the slide duration time to that the the timing of the video well, that's the major difference here um, and if you'd like to preview, so I'll preview this video so you can kind of see how it works. You can click the preview button here. And it'll pull a little preview window up for you to see. And then when you're done, you can just click the little X to close out of it. You can do it for pictures as well. It doesn't have to just be for that, but doesn't really show you the whole preview of your solution, but it'll just show you the preview of that particular slide. Now, another one I'll show you here is how you can add some uh, text to a slide. Um, and I'm just going to do some basic. So we're going to add a text box. I'm going to full screen it. Double click in here. I'm just going to say hello world. All my techies out there, you'll get that. We always want our font um, 
as big and as bold as you can get it. So uh, and easy to read. So I always go with an aerial or aerial black bold setting to. Yeah, it's a little too big. We can go down to like that'll work. And then I'm gonna center center it. You might get that warning. You just hit OK out of it, and it'll it'll do that for you. Just telling you your um, sign needs to be a certain version on the firmware for it to work properly. And we can change the color. I don't care for the red, so I'm going to go with more of this bright, vibrant green. On this, I'm going to leave it on this black background. It'll look okay, but you can change the background. Um, Bold italic underline options, uh, your orientation options, whether you want it centered, centered, or up in the right corner, spacing. And once you're happy with that, go ahead and close out of the editor. And you can actually change some of that stuff right here. So to change that background is this option right here. If we want to change it to, say, like, dark blue there we go we can change it to that or you want to go Christmassy with it we can go red and green dark red let's try let's go that route today and our recommendation when you are doing any type of creation of content whether it's text on background or with pictures uh, is always um, dark dark backgrounds, light text. And the reason for that is um, uh, lighter backgrounds tend to be more blinding to the drivers versus uh, a dark uh, with light. And then also it helps to read, uh, be able to read the uh, text better as well. So following this rule kind of will help you advertise to the best of your Abilities. And then we also have a video on this as well. Uh, also, going to leave the playback method for the text uh, as a static, but you can change it to different things if you wish. And I'm going to knock this down to three seconds. And there we go. We're all set there. I'm going to go and hit add for another one. And I'm going to show you the uh, time or time and temp slide options so for the time and temp widgets to work you must have internet connected to the sign so it will not work with um, an offline sign it has to be online for this function to work properly this one is so we'll go ahead and we can do weather um, you can full screen it and you can set your area. Uh, we're in Jackson. And you can change the temperature to the proper readings for your country, which this is being recorded in the US, so we, we run on Fahrenheit around here. Uh, you could do multi single line if you want to do scrolling um, or static. I'm going to leave it at multi line and I'm actually going to take out the wind. I'm going to leave the temperature and the weather. Let me change the color. I'm going to go green. I'm going to bump this up a little bit bigger. Old is not happy with that size, so we'll bring it down a little bit. And then uh, the refresh cycles here, and then the playback duration. So we can change the playback duration. I'm going to leave that to like five seconds. Um, and the refresh cycle is how often this uh, data is refreshed. Um, pulls from the source on the internet it gets it from. So, um, so we're going to leave this as one minute. If you'd like it to 
be more like more like 10 minutes you can change it if you wish but for this demonstration we'll leave it for one minute once that and then we're good with that one we'll go ahead and add a new one here and then you can also add uh, different clocks so we have a couple different clock options so we have uh, analog clock which is just standard um, hour minute seconds hands um, you change the color of the hands if we get rid of that widget and click that delete selected media we'll take this widget out go ahead and do the digital clock so same thing with this let's full screen it first I'll change the text to green let's bold it with Arial black make it a tad bit bigger and all these options selected these look like yeah, but there are some different options so we can take out certain things and change the time zone okay and uh, there's a clock it's not too much oh and let's change the duration into five seconds all right so uh, there's the clock widget um, one of the so we got the digital and an analog version there are um, many other options you can play around with and see all the stuff you can do within this editor um, but really we really try to um, steer everybody towards uh, just doing nice um, content pictures like this or even videos if your ordinance allows um, as this just um, helps your advertising needs much more than these so, um, and you can also uh, if there's a slide in here that we just do not want anymore um, for example I do not want this text anymore we can simply just delete the page ask if you're sure hit OK boom it's gone out of your solution when we're all set we go ahead and uh, click save what that's going to do is it's going to save the solution so when you close out you'll see it's right in your um, solution list you can single click it opens it back up i full screen it here and then you can resume editing the solution when you are happy with um, the solution and you're ready to publish just go ahead and simply click the publish choose the sign that you uh, want to publish it to only one we have hit the click the check box um, hit publish and it'll when it's done it'll say completed release and click done and then close out of your solution and it should be on your sign now also, if you have another way you can publish it is um, simply by clicking on the little publish um, paper airplane icon and then uh, going through and selecting the sign again, publish, and completed release. We're done. And uh, so that if you've got one already um, finished, ready to go, you can just straight publish it. Little quicker option than opening it and then publishing it that way uh, some other things uh, to show you here um, it's just there is um, a terminal control option in this uh, we have different videos that go over more of these in in depth but uh, this is just your your master settings area for your sign to change some different things such as time updating network configurations brightness schedules and so forth uh, as always if you need further assistance you can reach out to us and uh, open up support case and we'll assist you further with this um, any questions you have on this sign that's it for today's tutorial in today's tutorial I showed you how to create and publish uh, solutions to your sign Thanks and have a great day.